Hi everyone, I'm Golden Boy Colleen and today I'm going to open some Mini Brand Series 5 but with a twist. After each ball I open, I will buy and eat at least one serving of everything we get inside that's edible. I am always craving the food items I get when opening Mini Brands and it's about time I give in to those cravings. So let's find out what goodies we get in the first ball. Alright, so the first item is Airheads Extremes and I'm really glad it's a edible item. Here's a mini brand shopping bag, and unfortunately we cannot eat this, but it's always good to see it. I don't know, for some reason lately the shopping bags from mini brands have grown on me and I actually like them. We got a little bit of cash here. Let's see, a stash of 100 euros and a five pack of very colorful post-it notes. This is the Edge shaving gel, unfortunately not edible. And one of my favorites, a can of Minute Maid Fruit Punch. And when I say favorite, I don't mean the actual drink, it's more the can, the type of item. All of you are probably very aware at this point that I really like the cans in the series. So from the first ball, we're only gonna try two items, the Airheads Extremes and the Minute Maid Fruit Punch. Well, it's been a minute since you guys have seen me, but right now we're gonna go to Target to get the Airheads Extremes. And then hopefully we can find the fruit punch there as well, the Minute Maid fruit punch. If not, we're gonna go to a different store. So let's see. Since we're here, we might as well check to see if there's any uh, new mini brands released. Probably the books ones. All right, so there's no mini brands books. I don't see anything new. Just the usual stuff. Oh well, let's go get our Airheads Extremes and uh, Fruit Punch. So Target started their music, which means I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put any footage from this up because I'm gonna get copyright strike and stuff like that. So we'll see. Well, I cannot see any of the Minute Maid Fruit Punch. Hopefully they have the Airheads Extremes. Okay, Airheads Extremes. Oh, there they are. So we're gonna put this here. And then we're gonna leave them this here. You know what? Let me get another one just in case. So no luck finding the Minute Maid Fruit Punch, so we're gonna go to the next store. I'm glad we found the Airhead Sours though. Not Sours, Airheads Extremes. So that's good. Hopefully we can find the Fruit Punch here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse. Sorry. Excuse me. No, you're good. That's expensive. We're gonna do it in a car since it's just the Airheads Extremes and the. Minute Maid Fruit Punch. So five pieces is one serving. So I gotta eat five pieces of this. You wanna know something crazy? I've never had these, so this is gonna be the first time. Here's how they look. I guess let's go for it. I'm not too happy about this. I don't like, in general, I don't like gummy stuff. Gummy candy and things like that. Let's see? Hmm. Sour, but not bad. They're actually pretty good. I wouldn't buy them. You guys already know that I like when it comes to desserts and sweets. I prefer chocolatey stuff and, and cookies and other types of things, not these. But they're okay. Why are you rolling it up? You shouldn't be doing that. One more. They're pretty sour, but I wouldn't say they're extremely sour. Like a Warheads, extreme sour, those are, those are really sour. I think I said sour too many times. I, I can't understand the meaning of the word anymore. All right, done. The next thing is the Minute Maid Fruit Punch. And also this can does not look like the Mini Brands one either. I don't know why they keep doing that. Like every time Mini Brands comes up with, you know, stuff, it's like, it's always the older version of how they used to look. But anyway, let's see how it is. 
I did have fruit punch before, by the way. It's just that I never had it for a minute made. So this is gonna be a new experience for me, I guess. It's actually pretty good. Of course, serving size is one can, so I'm gonna have to drink this whole thing. I think I'm gonna drink it on the way home. You guys will believe that I'm gonna drink this whole thing, right? I don't have to stay here and drink it in front of you. You need to trust me on that, okay? All right, let's go and open the next ball and see what we have to get next. Here's the Pepperidge Farm German chocolate layer cake. This is going to be interesting, although I'm not sure I'll be able to find it because I've been looking a little bit and I had no luck. However, we're going to get the next best thing from Pepperidge Farm and I'm going to try to stick with the same theme, which is cake. Here's another item that can be ingested. This is the Marchand Bow chicken flavor. I know for a fact I'm going to enjoy this one. It seems like we're getting some really nice items in this ball. These are the Pepperidge Farm pirouettes. And these are the ones with chocolate fudge, which is my favorite. More Airheads Extremes. Good thing I have some from the previous ball. And a gallon of Low Pope Minute Maid Original Orange Juice. So it seems like in this ball, we just got food items, which is great. I'm gonna have a feast. So I found it, but not the German chocolate layer cake. Uh, all of these are layer cakes, so I don't know which exactly to get, but I'm obviously thinking about that one because it's also chocolate. Uh, yeah, let's get that one. Oh, nice. This is the one we need. Well, this looks a lot different than the many brand. I'm guessing they change the package as they usually do. Many brands always get stuff. Old school packaging, but I guess this will do. If I see another one at a different store that looks exactly like the one we have, I'm gonna get it. In the meantime, oh, almost forgot, almost forgot. This is the correct one. All right, so for some reason, I cannot find the Minute Maid gallon, the jug. So I did find this one. So I guess we're gonna get this one. And if I can find the gallon at a different store, I'm just gonna get another one, you know? All right, so we're gonna go to three more stores. We're gonna go to Five Below, we're gonna go to Walmart, and then we're gonna go to Fresh Farms in hopes of finding the Marchand Chicken Ramen Bowl that looks exactly like the mini brand. I'm gonna also try to find the gallon of Minute Maid uh, orange juice. And then last but not least, the German chocolate layer cake. Hopefully we can find that one. I haven't seen it anywhere. I tried looking online, but maybe the Fresh Farms market thingy has it because that's a place where they have a lot of international foods and such. So we'll see. But if I don't find any of these at the three stores, then we're just gonna stick to what we have right now. All right, so Walmart doesn't have the bowls at all. I mean, they have these, but this is different. Mm, let's keep looking for a little bit more. All right, no luck. There's no sign of the bowl, so we're gonna look for the orange juice and see if they have that. And the uh, Pepperidge Farm um, German chocolate layer cake. Well, the only thing they have is the Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheets, but no German chocolate layer cake. So yeah, let's see if they have the orange juice at least. Yeah, no luck with orange juice either. We just have the regular one that we got from Jewel. No gallon jug. Oh well. Let's go to Fresh Farms. Maybe they have something there. But wait, before we leave, we need to check to see if there's any new mini brands or miniverse. Well, this is interesting. They have the mini brand sign there. There's no mini brands. So I'm guessing they put them somewhere else. Found the miniverse here. No sign of mini brands still. But we're gonna find them. Okay. Oh, here they are. All the mini brands and all their glory. Nothing new though. Everything they have here we already have. We already opened. We've already tried. So yeah, I guess Fresh Farms it is. Hopefully we're gonna find what we need here. But you never know. Lady, I'm crossing here. Excuse me. 
Well, there's all kinds of ramen, but not the one that we're looking for. So, no luck in the ramen section. No luck with the orange juice either. It's just the regular ones you can find anywhere else. So the last thing we're gonna check on is the German chocolate layer cake. Let's see if we can find that. I don't think we're gonna have any luck with that one either. Oh well. All right, so they do have it. I mean, they have one, and it's an exactly the same type of bowl that we saw at Julasco. I guess we're gonna have to eat from the new design, Maruchan Ramen Bowl. Let's see if they have any mini brands here. No, they do not have anything mini brands. Or maybe they put them somewhere else. Sometimes, sometimes they put them here at the end caps. Nope. Oh, well, they have this. We already have this one. We got it from Jessica. Maybe here. Mm, no. Oh well, I guess that's it. We're gonna head home and have whatever we got. So first we got the ramen. Here it is. Next up, the Pepperidge Farm Pirouettes. And I'm really looking forward to trying these. I mean, not trying them, I had them before, it's just that I wanna eat them. Then we got the Airheads Extremes. Here they are. Not too crazy about these, but oh well, it's part of the challenge. Here's our Minute Made orange juice. And as you guys know, couldn't find the jug, so this will do. And last but certainly not least, the Pepperidge Farm German Chocolate Layer Cake. And again, couldn't find it, but I think this one is gonna be even better. So I'm thinking, let's start with this first, because it's probably gonna take a little bit for it to cool down. All right, remove lid, open the two packets, open the packet. This is not the healthiest thing ever, but it's so delicious. How much did they say? Three minutes? Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna let this cool for a little bit and in the meantime, we're just gonna prepare the other stuff. You know what, let's get the orange juice out. You know what, I'm gonna have a sip now. Oh, that's good. Let's get the pirouettes out of here. Seems like it has a zipper, just like many brands. Delicate pastry-like rolled wafer with luscious creamy filling. What's not to love? Yep. That was harder than I anticipated. You get these two bags that are filled with delicious yumminess. So the serving is two wafers. Oh man, I thought it's gonna be more. Look at all that chocolate inside. These things I'm not too excited about, but oh well. And that's five. And now it's time for probably the best thing in this whole meal. Oh man, this is gonna be a mess. Okay. Finally, I got it out. Here's the cake. I don't know, for some reason I expected it to be round. All right, something like that. So this is an eighth, which is a serving of this cake. All right, so first things first, the Marchan chicken bowl noodle ramen soup. Of course, now is the time when the fridge starts, so you might hear that in the background. Apologies in advance. My mouth is watering, but let me show you how it looks. I hope you guys can see that. Can you? All right, let's go for it. Oh, it's still pretty hot. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, there's something about this. I don't know how they do it, but it's so good. Mm. I could eat so many of these. So do you guys like these types of videos? I'm still kind of like figuring out the things with filming outside of, you know, that room, with the camera pointing down and all that. Also, the audio might be a little bit different because I'm using this microphone, so hopefully it picks up okay. Based on how it goes, I'm gonna see what I can improve for next time. Wash it all down with some orange juice. Feels a little bit weird after ramen to have orange juice, but... I'm gonna have the Airheads next because they're my least favorite. The sooner I get it done, the better. They're not bad, but compared to chocolate cake or the pirouettes, 
There's no compression. Next up, the pirouettes from Pepperidge Farm. They are a little bit harder than I remember, but it tastes really, really good. If you've never had these and you can find them in your store, please get some. Mm. So good. And of course, last but certainly not least, I was gonna say the German chocolate layer cake. No, this is the, I think, fudge chocolate cake something. I really wish we were able to find the, the German chocolate layer cake. Oh wow, that is really good. It's very, very fluffy, very light. I'm really curious what the coconut one is. All right, you know what time it is? Time to open another ball and see what we're gonna eat next. All right, the Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetables. Um, I'm not particularly looking forward to trying this one. Not very crazy about canned meals like this, but I guess I have no choice. I'm gonna give it a try. Once again, I can't stop talking about how much I love these types of items. Extremely detailed, very accurate. I mean, you can even read what's on the back here. Well, here's another gallon of uh, Minute Made Original Orange Juice. Good thing I love orange juice. All right, another bowl of Marchan ramen noodle soup chicken flavor. I am already in love with this type of video. Okay, this is definitely an edible item, but I have not seen it anywhere. So I'm going to keep looking, but if I can't find it, I'll probably just get the next best thing. You know, whatever else is pretty close and similar. Yeah, it's very unfortunate that not every item that's in mini brands can be found in stores, but what are you going to do? It's a very nice mini though. And more <laughs> Airheads Extremes. This is absolutely crazy. I did not think that I'm gonna have to eat so many Airheads Extremes, but oh well, a challenge is a challenge. Okay, I can't seem to find the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Found it. I'm gonna take two. Might actually like it. All right, and then... Someone's gonna hate me for this, right? Perfect. So I obviously didn't find these, but the next best thing would be Altoids, right? It's kind of looking the same because it's the same color too. So we're gonna leave this here. So you guys know the drill. We got orange juice, just like last time. Here it is, same one. I didn't buy another one just for that, you know? Then we got another Marchand Bowl Ramen Noodle Soup Chicken Flavor. Here it is. These are the Airheads Extremes and I already had enough of these. I'm kind of tired of them. Now I'm equal parts curious and terrified about this one. The Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetables. It looks so realistic. And last but not least, we got Smint. I couldn't find them, but I got some Altoids, which I'm guessing is pretty close, you know. This looks like a metal tin. This is a metal tin, so, you know, trying to get as close as possible. Okay, <laughs> looks a little bit congealed, but, you know, don't knock it till you try it. Okay, here's how it looks. I'm guessing once it's nice and warmed up, it might be better. It actually might be comforting because it's pretty cold outside today. Let me go prepare everything, get this warmed up, and I'll see you in a second. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with uh, Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetables first because in case it's not good and I really don't like it, I can wash it down with some orange juice or have some chicken ramen noodle soup thing. Pretty much looks the same, to be honest, see? Uh, it looks good, but you never know with these, you know? <laughs> so, let's see. It's not bad. You guys hearing that? I think the neighbors are doing some kind of work. Yeah, I don't have neighbors above anymore, but sometimes the neighbors that are over there we're over there, we're down. Yeah, still a lot, a lot quieter than in the other place, but I really hope you guys can't hear that. But if you do, I'm sorry. Everything that's like this, that's like a stew in a can, 
has a specific taste. It's a, like a canned taste. Other than that, it's okay. Now, would I get it again? No. <laughs> Probably not. As I'm saying that, I'm going back for more, but it's not that. It's just that it's part of the challenge, you know? All right, let's move on to the next one. Maybe a little bit of orange juice to wash it all down. This is orange juice from Minute Maid. Not from the jug, but from the carton. Mm. I love orange juice. Up next, another bowl of chicken flavored ramen from Maruchan. Look at that. I'm really sorry for making all of you crave this, but oh man, gotta love this thing. No matter how bad it is, it's just, it's just delicious. Mm. My apologies, I forgot to talk. <laughs> I got myself lost in this. I just love it, what can I say? Okay, I'm done. Up next, some dessert. Not particularly the thing I would like to have for dessert right now. But then again, here we are. I bet even you guys got tired of seeing these. I'm really tired of these. I don't think I'm ever gonna have them again. <sighs> and what better way to finish a meal than with a nice refreshing mint. Like I said, I couldn't find it, so I got the Altoids. Serving size, one mint. Is it full to the brim? Can you even see that? Oh. The Curiously Strong Mints. I'll try to give you guys a better look at them. Hope you can see something there. We just need one. I'm really not into mints, I prefer gum. It's okay. All right, we're gonna stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this type of video. And if you did, please let me know in the comments. The likes, the dislikes, the comments, they are all really, really good feedback. And that sometimes helped me determine what am I gonna make next. Also a huge shout out and a big thank you to my subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. Now, as usual, all of you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.